The following video is a summary of the highlights of a master thesis presented by Severin Reiner. The title of this thesis is a novel map matching approach for low cost mobile mapping systems using 3D cameras and 3D street level imagery and was submitted at the University of Applied Sciences Northwestern Switzerland. Previous research at the Institute of Geomatics has led to the development of a low-cost mobile mapping system. It is mounted on an electric tricycle and is equipped with two low-cost 3D cameras. The system captures georeferenced red-green-blue depth imagery, which can be used, for example, to detect and map parked vehicles in urban environments. While the system performs well in areas of good GNSS reception, the positioning accuracy is challenged when passing through places like urban canyons, underpasses, or avenues with dense treetops. Previous missions were therefore meticulously planned to avoid such obstructions. Since the system captures street-level images, the ubiquitous signs found all over the city are naturally also visible in the data. Knowing the position of these signs offers great potential and leads to the question, can the visible signs in the images be related to their positional information to refine the existing trajectory? The feasibility of this idea was investigated in depth in this thesis by implementing a workflow that has the potential to be fully automated. Python was used to develop an image measurement tool to select and store 2D pixel coordinates. Using the respective depth map and the pose calculated by means of direct georeferencing, these measurements are converted into 3D global coordinates. The user manually measures the position of objects in images and associates the respective signs. The tool then automatically calculates the lateral deviation and uses this information to generate an absolute position update file. The trajectory can then be reprocessed. Repeating this procedure for multiple iterations results in the average deviation to converge at 1.22 meters. Over the course of the investigation, the quality of the images was found to be problematic, particularly in regards to full automation. Firstly, the RGB images exhibit a strong color cast. This manifests itself as a magenta-colored hue towards the lower right side of the image. This can be remedied to some extent by reducing the saturation of the discolorations. The second issue cannot be removed as easily. Areas of the image pointing away from the vehicle's heading experience heavy motion blur. This means that signs in these regions appear fuzzy. Lastly, due to the current implementation of the capturing software, the depth map and color image are not captured perfectly synchronously, leading to a disparity between the two frames. The consequence of this is that measurements solely based on the RGB image are not possible. To automate parts of the workflow, two readily available AI models were selected and tested. The models were able to detect signs visible in the images with an accuracy of 64% and 35% respectively. Their accuracy suffered primarily from the motion blur mentioned earlier, and from cases where signs are skewed or at an obscure angle to the camera sensor. Additionally, the models were trained on German instead of Swiss road signs, leading to several objects not being recognized. The color cast had an insignificant effect on the ability to identify signs, as the detection rate only increased by about 12% for images that were edited. Overall, the current workflow can improve the trajectory, achieving a consistent accuracy of approximately 1 meter. AI approaches to detect and measure signs show promising results. However, due to issues surrounding the image quality of the camera used, full automation is not yet possible. For future work, the need for RGB data should be eliminated by redirecting the attention on depth information, which can be utilized for pole detection.